here in downtown Nashville, we're just not seeing a lot of cicadas, but in other parts of the city, they are hosting on the sides of people's houses like no other. So we were wondering why do they pick and choose which areas they like to hang out? So we asked an expert and they say, well, it depends on where they get their source of food and where they lay their eggs. And that's trees. I mean, we're, we're ready for the invasion, man. We're ready. Tim Mercer is on the lookout for cicadas. We haven't seen any um, cluster of the cicadas. And so, you know, I, will it be different tomorrow? I don't know. This East Nashville home just isn't attracting as many of the bugs as years before. The bigger cicadas, uh, the ones that I've seen today in the last couple of days are the small ones. And they're certainly not as prevalent as I've been seeing on the media in, in some other parts of the state and other parts of the country. One reason why could be the lack of trees in his yard. No, I'm more afraid of tornadoes. You know, the only thing standing is the black walnut tree in back and it's uh, it's healthy as a horse. It's not going anywhere and it's just now blooming. But areas where you are seeing a lot of trees are likely places you'll see a lot of cicadas. As immatures, they feed on the sap and from the roots and then they come and then they mate and the female, she prefers like uh, trees for laying her eggs too. Madula Jarish is an assistant professor and extension specialist for the University of Tennessee Entomology and Plant Pathology Department. She says trees are how the insect survives its short time here above ground. A place once a forest that had like huge trees or like old trees is getting cleared as in habitat modification, right? Like some are converted to a farmland, some are converted to neighborhoods. So if you do, if the cicadas don't have that like food, you can't expect them to be, you know, coming out like for instance. But as new development pops up, more mature trees come down. This means the nesting spot from the last emergence of cicadas was likely destroyed because of construction. And the ones here today are looking to feed on and lay their eggs in their favorite trees. We're, we're probably not their idea home or, you know, uh, property to, to be doing their thing. But, you know, other parts of the neighborhood, as you can see, have a lot more trees than we do. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.